Hey, Drive Tribe, Migs here, and I'm with Jesse Glickenhaus. Jesse, how are you doing today? I'm great. How's it going? Good. It's good to see you. It's good to, yeah, yeah. it's good to see you. It's, every time I go to a car show, it's, your, your dad's like right around the car. I'm like, dude, stop following me. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand That's why. True. I don't understand why. He's a, he's a fan. He is a big fan, I, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you have here. This is absolutely amazing. What do you got? Yeah. We decided... Let's pick the craziest off-road race in the world, yeah. which is the Baja 1000. It's the longest continuous race, a thousand miles straight. Right. Let's make a new version of the Steve McQueen Baja boot. Okay. Take it racing. Yeah, I, I don't think, I don't even know if that looks anything like the other one that you have. This it's thing is, this looks like a transformer almost. Well, so for us, you know, people build SUVs and yeah. I don't really know what that means. You build everything. But if you can drive to Ensenada, drive a thousand miles and drive home that's gonna be fun nice so yeah so we did it straight from the uh, straight from the factory in okay. California we build them hand build them in California okay. and uh, this is its world debut so then what happens in New York uh, magic okay. and, <laughs> magic uh, no, okay. so in New York we're building the 03 okay. and we're building a factory in Danbury Connecticut to start building the 04s I didn't know that. And we're actually going to be going to Le Mans, um, and that some of that will take place in New York as well. So we started in um, January 2018 with a blank sheet of paper and the idea to make a new version of the Baja boot. And so with that blank sheet of paper, we said, okay, what, what do we want to take and how would they do it today? If they were building a car to compete in the Baja, what would they do today? And we came up with this. So, is he okay? Yeah, Jim. Jim, <laughs> oh. what are you doing? Oh, oh, special sne guest. Sneak attack here. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's just showing us the uh, the Baja now. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you both show us, I guess? I, I think we have to pass it to the younger generation. Is it because happening now? It's this happening. Is this is the You're torch. Patrick, here you oh, wow. All oh, right. My God. Yeah, yeah, well, thanks for stepping in and saying hi. All right. Um, <laughs> he's going to go have an umbrella drink somewhere. Oh, but, yeah, nice. Um, but so. There's a lot of things that make this both usable on the road and off the road. Yeah. Um, we have 20 inches of suspension travel okay. uh, with Fox shocks and they um, have bypass so that they take the heat and take the abuse. Um, this is with BF Goodridge 20, uh, not 20, sorry, 40 inch tires. Wow, you just doubled it in a matter of seconds. I did, yeah. <laughs> um, fuzzy math. So awesome. 40 inch tires. But their road tires, they don't sound, they don't have a tremendous amount of road to noise. They're fantastic tires on the road, but they can take the off-road um, method race wheels. One of the things that was really important to us was to have legitimacy in the off-road community. There's a huge history of people thinking that they can build something. I'm not going to name names, but right. build things that look like they could be off-road cars, yeah. but actually in reality are not that capable. And so for us, we went to the source on a lot of the off-road um, enthusiasts and masters in the off-road community for what does it need to be legitimate. Um, so we're working with Method, we're working with BF Goodridge. Um, tell us, tell the viewers what SCG stands for. So S is Scuderia, which is your shield, your racing stable. C is Cameron, which is my mom's maiden name. And G is Glickenhaus, which is my dad's name uh and the torch is the torch of the statue of liberty nice because york because we're from new york from and we new york. believe in the symbol of the statue of liberty he actually put that in all his movies there's a statue of liberty in all my dad's movies oh, that's awesome. hidden somewhere um why don't we op let's open it yeah up yeah yeah we'll, we'll open it out here hold on remember i edit all this so okay that's order. good i can cut that whole thing out i'm trying to feel, make you feel uncomfortable that's right. but at the same time comfortable <laughs> that's good um, so we, I thought you said you were putting shag carpet in it. Yeah, so the shag carpet option, um, we opted to do Rhino Liner. So this is fireproof, mudproof, waterproof, hose it out. It's out, you know, off the bed of a pickup. Oh, that's, that's excellent, yeah. yeah. Um, seats, Sparka seats with carbon fiber and custom stitching and, and everything. Um, and as I said, this is the very, very first pre-production prototype. Um, we're learning some things. I like to throw back to the analog gauges. Yeah. So this screen right here, yeah. we're actually gonna move to the center. 
Okay. And we're going to put two analog gauges, your TAC and your Speedo. All right. Um, see, so that's all you really need um, in here. Yeah, you got all kinds and of bells and whistles. It almost looks like a cockpit of a jet. There's a little bit, yeah. We got the, the winch, the auxiliary lights. This glass comes out. That is so awesome, by and the way. I love having light inside. we made it to fit over the spare tire. So you can mount it to the spare tire, drive with the roof off. What? Yeah. So, some fun things like that. It's one of the first SCG models to have cup holders. Um, the O3 has cup holders as well, but. Now you're gonna be making a road legal version as well? Of this? Yeah. Th you're looking at it. Oh, this is it? Yeah. All right. This is, this is the road legal version. So I know your dad on some of the other models, he says, yeah, we put a window here, so when you're at a traffic light, you can see the traffic light. Yeah, oh, th so, this has tremendous visibility. You should get in and yeah. get in and is, look around. That looks like a living room, pretty much. Yeah. That's very comfortable. It's roomy. It's good for tall people. Nice. Um, we're working with Borla on the exhaust to mirror the original exhaust from the boot okay. and to sound ridiculous nice. and amazing. Um, full-size spare. Some people are asking why the full-size spare. Yeah. Because when you're racing a thousand miles, yeah. you could be a hundred miles from the pit stop. Right. And you have chase trucks and crew that are following you around, but it could take them yeah. hours and hours to get there. Sure. So if you have a spare, uh, the jacks that they have, they're incredible. There's like six foot tall jacks to jack it up to change the tire. And the wheels and tires are about 140 pounds. So you need two people or you need to work out a lot. Um, to change those but the chassis this is all uh, chromoly steel incredibly strong um, designed to take a beating off-road and keep the occupant safe and keep the car from um, getting damaged at all sure. but you're asking real legal so DOT lights yeah, yeah. DOT stop lights it has to meet the pendulum test so when you swing a hammer into the into the rear bumper it doesn't break the lights okay. um, a lot of little random details um, this will be our side markers that we developed that are on the o3 so it'll be your fuel gauge your oil and your race your pit id number um, in there and then this the air snorkel for the off-road there's a ton of dust yeah. so you want to have the air as high up as possible sure. and there's a few filtration systems in this so there's a system that pre-filters and then there's uh sort of by moving the air in a certain direction and then there's a lot of air filters in there and the clearance for driving i mean underwater you can drive at least up to the door sills Real, in the water yeah that. yeah no uh maybe deeper um so how 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 high can the water be uh, the, you can drive at least to here. Okay. If you drive above there, you're going to start flooding the cabin, but it's Rhino Line, okay. so that doesn't really matter. Oh, sure, we can um, get that option, right? Just yeah. to seal the doors? Yeah, oh, yeah. We could do that. But, um, yeah, so that'll be your gauges. And then in the, f the prototype, we've got the fuel tank here. In the production cars, we're going to move them inside okay. so that fuel filler will move over. Um, and then this is because it's wide, it's so wide, it needs a special side marker light. Okay. So that's going to be your amber side marker light. And that's it. And then these are space for auxiliary lights for off-road racing. You need a lot of extra light, space for a roof rack. Um, on the other side, there could be a ladder to get to your roof rack, whatnot. Um, and we designed it, we fit within a standard garage. You guys pay attention to every single detail. Yeah. Like details that most people yeah. are like, what? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. We, and we drove around. We actually drove around to a couple of parking garages. Yeah. Also, because some people have garages. Some people want to park it in a garage. Um, measure the height exactly. Measure the clearance, the width. For the width, uh, we pick the maximum width that will fit in an enclosed transporter. Okay. Within, <laughs> you know, half an inch on each side. Right. So this will fit in a, a closed transporter. It'll fit in a standard garage um, with the 40 inch uh, tires because those details matter. Um, and then, yeah, then you can drive it up a mountain. All right, let's take it out for a spin. All right, here we go. bring it. <laughs> Jesse, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Our pleasure, thank you. We'll see you on Drive Tribe.